Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Joe from Newcastle Fans TV. And we are in the third round proper. Newcastle United women facing off against Stoke City women. Let's get into it. Here we are, Costa, starting off right, ladies and gentlemen. A little toasty downers, two shot cappuccino, just a two shot to get easy because we're going to be having a few coffees a day, no doubt, like Kate said. All by myself today as well. There is going to be no Lee, no Johnny, no no one, all me on my own. So let's see what trouble we can get into and let's see the lasses absolutely dominate. Let's get going, people. Oh, yeah. Boom! Gateshead Stadium, Metro journey done. Let's get ourselves down to the match. Get ready, get another coffee, cause uh, we're running empty on that one. And then let's get rocking. Are we the last? So, up at Gateshead, lineup is due to come out any second. We'll hide it on the screen, see who's playing. We've caught up with Jeff, we've caught up with Colin, we've caught up with Matt, we've caught up with a snowman as well, but there's no sign of Bernie today. Looking like it's a good turnout over at Gateshead Stadium. Bit of a rainy day, so let's ho hope that um, lightens off a bit because we didn't want this pitch getting called off halfway through. Newcastle dominating three or four nil, you know. Um, we're now looking for a dominant performance today, up into the fourth round, I reckon, after the day. Um, see how we get, championship side, there's, there's everyone. Are we the lasses? So, I can and say get set back up. I've already had a coffee. A little bit disappointing because it was just an americano. But people, that's all good. That's all good. I had a bit of milk. It was sound. Still got caffeine in it. We're all good with that. Fresh green. If you notice, they give us number twenty, as if they know I'm a big fan of Naomi. But do number twenty. See Naomi, Jody Bottles back on the um, live stream, um, doing that with Aaron Embleton. So yes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this up. Let's see what's cracking. How are we the lasses? Ooh, new badge to kiss. Ah. Taking brilliant ball for Katie. Oh. Go on, Peggy! Oh, well claimed by Alicia. Lovely bit of passing. Oh. Better, go on, Potty. Oh! So close for Charlotte Potts. Scoring would have been wonderful to get the goal open straight away. Right, I call Potty. Oh! Amber stops on a crazy run. Brilliant, brilliant choice by the ref. Free kick, edge of the box. Free kick. Emma Kelly on the edge of the box. Can Newcastle make something of this? Blocking the wall. Katie Barker coming in again on the wing. Alicia Body to pick it up. Katie playing it back out to Hannah. Potty there to clean up the mess. Ball through. Olivia Bridget. And it's in! Bridget Galloway back on the score sheet. Brilliantly done. Excellent beginning pass from Potty. Happy, happy crowd. On your heat, on your heat. 
Mm, unlucky. Yet another corner here from Newcastle United. Goes in again. And but a pick up on the outside of the box. Nice little pass. Emma with a shot. Picked up by Georgia, but it is offside. Pass. Emma with a shot. Picked up by Georgia, but it is offside. So it's half time, it's 1-0 to Newcastle United, quite a strong first half, I mean Stoke haven't really been challenging much, they haven't brought much to the table, they've been very good defensively, but we've been on the high, high, high press. The goal comes from Bridget Galloway, who Charlotte Potts picks up the ball at the halfway line after a scramble pass from Hannah Greenwood, she drives a brilliant through ball up pitch, who live what picks it up. Passes it through to Bridget Galloway, who's able to scramble it over the line. There was a little sketchy moment where we thought it wasn't going to go in there, but it did. Fans went wild. Strong 1-0 lead. What would I like to see in the second half? Just more clinical finishing. A little bit better in that final third, but at the minute Newcastle are really dominating. Becky Ferguson is having an absolutely wonderful, wonderful game. Lovely to see her doing well. Lysia Body once again having a fantastic one. And Potty is brilliant. You can tell this is a great occasion for Charlotte Potts, obviously being here at the Heed Stadium. We've got to be careful because there's been a few times that Stoke have pushed a little cheeky ball in and got close. Grace Donnelly has made two phenomenal saves. Um, yeah, but other than that, Stoke haven't tested with all defensive from Stoke, all high press from Newcastle, leaving Charlotte and Amber at the back and um, allowing Becky and Liv on each wing to push up. Fantastic. Let's see the second half. Let's get these couple more goals in. How are the lasses? Big cues for the scoring. It's on both sides of the stadium as well. If you look closely, you can see a wild ray there as well. Charging through the crowd, like a VIP. Ray, I hope you say this, you know I love you, dude. <laughs> well, we're on the subject. Corporal Matt, Corporal Ryan, covering Ryan's face, there we go. And I had a hot dog at half time. And now the hot dog, I'm gonna give it a, stand alone before what happened, I'm gonna give it a six. But then, because the bun was smaller, I got a cheaper, a whole one pound cheaper. So I think I bumped something up to about a, you know, a nice eight. So I'm going to give the Gateshead Stadium hot dog a six to an eight, depending on your price. If you're getting it at three quid, that's a six. You're getting it a little bit cheaper, you're getting it a nice price. You're getting a nice, uh, nice eight. Stoke seemed to have a little bit more in it in the second half. Early doors, though. Give it a little bit, and we'll be back at it. More goals to come. How are we the lasses? <laughs> Katie Barker cuts in. Lovely, easy tap in. Two for Bridget Galloway. Wonderful assist from Katie Barker who runs up the wing, cuts inside and plays it straight in for an easy goal for Bridget Galloway. 2-0. How are we the lasses? <laughs> Pine scarfs out at everyone, look. Bernie's on the hunt. Bernie's on the hunt. Oh, flicked on. Bridget picks it up. Katie is very clear here. Oh, lovely turn by Katie. And what a goal! What a goal by Katie Barger! What a goal by Katie Barger! Ah, na, 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 na. So it's baggy top, baggy top. Says Miss Baggy Top. Charlie's. So as you can see, Anna Sosby coming off for Katie Barker, and also Shauna Wilkinson coming off for Emma Kelly. Don't ask me how I have been able to spot that Emma Kelly all the way over there, but I have. Go me. Keeping the attack alive. Touchdown by Cora. Anna picks up. Unlucky by Anna. Back to Alicia. Taylor Dodds on the wing there. Oh, we need Taylor to swing it in. Lovely swing. And it's in! Yeah! Come on, Anna! 
<laughs> Go on, Frosty! <laughs> and I picks it up. Can I get, I get a sign here? Oh! She does! She does! And I sold you with us! And that is it. Newcastle proceeding to the next round of the FA Cup with a 5-0 victory over Stoke. Kiara Gatehead in the National Stadium. Fantastic. Dominant win. So, 5-0 and into the next round we go. Absolutely excellent to see, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of a roundup from the lasses having a wonderful game here at Gateshead International Stadium. Most of them are heading away now, over to the bus, heading home, wherever they're going. Thank you to you all, you've had a wonderful game. Defensively, we were absolutely excellent. Becky's been saying, actually, on the fact of Becky, let's hear from Becky now. Becky, first of all, congratulations. Absolutely powerful win here at Gateshead Stadium against Stoke. Are you happy going into the fourth round? Yeah, we're absolutely delighted to be going into the fourth round. It was a convincing performance from us. Um, I thought we were fantastic. You know, it didn't look like Stoke were threatening at all, I think. Um, you know, everyone's contributed really positively today and I don't think Stoke actually registered a shot on target in that second half. So a dominant display from, from us and I thought the players who came off the bench really impacted. That speaking about players coming off the bench, not to say that it's a favourite of mine, but uh, Anna Solsby had a bit of a wonderful performance, yeah. didn't she? Yeah, Anna Solsby's a great girl. You know, she's a massive Newcastle fan. She gives absolutely everything. Every single day she comes into work and she just loves to be here. So it's a pleasure to work with her. And she works hard and some of that doesn't, well, it doesn't go unnoticed to me, but it might to others. And today she's got her award by coming off the bench, two fantastic goals, you know, really controlled header from a great cross from Tyler for the first. And then the second one, she's, you know, used her strength, stayed on the ball and then just smashed it home which is just yeah absolutely buzzing for her. I also want to point out Becky Ferguson I feel like she had an absolutely wonderful game on the wing obviously she's getting a lot more time with the team how do you feel about Becky's progression in the team? Yeah she's been brilliant she signed for us when she was 16 and honestly she was so quiet and, and we all laugh now because she's completely come out of the shell um, she played well yeah we're just disappointed to see her come off injured there at the end so we'll see I think she might tweak the knee a little bit so we'll assess that and go again but you know she's got that break um, over across the new year to yeah, really kind of look after that injury and then hopefully come back stronger in the new year. That's what I would like to say because Becky's been absolutely fantastic yes, recently. Really. It's nice to see. Um, and what sort of impact are you looking to make in the next round? You've already heard you want to you want to see a championship team. So what impact do you want to do you want to see in the next round? Yeah, well, well, of course we want to play a championship team. We want to be testing you know ourselves against the best teams in the country. And you know if we could we could have a um, Sunderland Newcastle derby again, we'd we'll be we'd we'll be looking forward to that because you know we we lost the game in pre season. That's our only loss in twelve months, and I know it's pre season game but we want to win every game we play especially a derby so maybe it's time to put that right only loss in 12 months that's brilliant becky absolutely thank you very much thank for you. your time Cheers. Cheers. take care now thank you. so yes thank you very much becky for that as you heard stoke didn't even register a shotgun target in the second half that's how solid the likes of olivia watt the likes of Charlotte Potts, the likes of Amber Keegan Stobbs and the likes of Becky Ferguson on them back four. They've done a wonderful job today keeping Stoke out. Let's hear what Anna's got to see after that game. Yeah, with Solsby's baggy top, baggy top. Anna, 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 Anna. Yeah, Anna, coming on as a super sub there. How did it feel? Unbelievable. I'm just happy uh, to be able to do, be able to show the gaffer what I've always wanted to do, really. Show that I can do it, I. And I mean, one thing I've got to say, the times you've been coming on in the last few games, I've got to say your performances have been excellent. You've been working hard on training. Oh yeah, definitely. I think just being in a full-time environment, it's just a part of your everyday life, so you kind of have to. And like, it's just ingrained into you every single day to do what you're meant to do. Well, from a fan's point of view, it's definitely working for you, getting out there, starting to score goals and all that. Two and one games, how do you feel? Oh, unbelievable. The relief of the first one, then just the pure ecstasy of the second one, it was unbelievable. It got a bit scrappy out there as well for you as you were going for your third. I seen you took a tumble just behind the goal. Oh, aye. Feeling all right, though? Oh, aye. Oh, aye. I wanted that hat-trick like that. would have been unbelievable. It was. You could see you pushing for the hat-trick <laughs> up and down the wing yet again. It was fantastic. Um, who are you looking for in the championship? In, in, sorry, in the next round, who are you looking for? I don't think I'm as. Anyone. Give us anyone. Any challenges, a challenge for you, and that's what you're happy with. Yeah. Right then, Anna, thank you very much. Okay, All the best. Um, how long? Switch up. Take care. Thank you very much, Anna, for your words as well at the end of the match. Very excited. She was right as well. Honestly, once she came on and she scored two goals, she was hunting like crazy for that third goal. And sadly, she didn't get it, but she fought hard for it, and that's what we want to see. So that puts Newcastle 
into the fourth round of the FA Cup. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, who are we getting in this next round? Becky has said she wants a championship side. And I said she doesn't really care. And a lot of the other lasses in there, they don't care. They just want to keep playing. They just want to keep doing their best. What if we've got Sunderland? Ooh, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it, ladies and gents? We've got the lovely Daisy Burt there. Everyone's heading away. We're going to head away. We're going to bring this to you, guys, and it's going to be wonderful. But for one last time with the new jacket, how are the lasses? Mwah! Ladies and gentlemen, it has been Joe from Newcastle Fans TV. Thank you very much, and thank you, Lady Mags. Oosh! Like and subscribe. Until the next time.